Hey, grade 12s, and welcome to today's video in which we are going to be looking at how to manipulate line and page breaks. Now, before we do anything, um, let's just look at a few of the options that we have. So when we go to the Home tab and we go to our Paragraph section and we click in that little arrow over there, we come up to the Paragraph option. So you can see we have um, our one tab for indents and spacing, but we're not too worried about that. We're looking at line and page breaks. So when I click on that, you can see that we have a number of options. So I just quickly want to go through these options so that you understand exactly what each one of them does uh, before we go on to our exercise in doing this practically. So first things first, the window slash orphan control. Um, when this option is selected, it prevents a single line of a paragraph from appearing on a page other than that on which the rest of the paragraph is located. In other words, if I put that there, if I put my tick in there, it will mean that my paragraph won't have like a piece of the paragraph dangling over onto the next page, right? If I select keep uh, with next, when this option is selected, it prevents one paragraph from being separated from the next. The paragraph will thus always remain together with the following paragraph on the same page page. When we use keep lines together, this option keeps all the lines in the same paragraph together on one page. So the paragraph won't break over two pages. And then page break before, when this option is exercised, the, spe the specified paragraph will always appear at the top of a new page, irrespective of whether the previous page is filled or not. Remember what our page break does? Uh, when we put in a page break, it it breaks that page and moves everything to the top of a new page. Okay, so now that we've looked at that, we have a good understanding around that. Let's look at our example for today. So this is our practice doc, and I'm actually going to use activity four, um, number one from your grade 12 textbook. This is from module 3.2. So the first thing I want us to do is just scroll through the whole document and note how the um, paragraphs at the bottom of the pages are broken. So let's have a look at this. We can see we have headings. There's our one paragraph moving. Ah, here we go. So this one's fine, but with our third heading, look what's happening. We've got one line of the paragraph there. The rest is over on the new page. Scroll down. Oh, here's another one again. Okay, with our fourth heading, let's scroll through and oh, here we go. <laughs> here's another one. Okay, so now we can see that we have three of these over here. So the first thing they want us to do is select the entire document. Remember, we can do that quickly by just hitting Control and A on our keyboard. Um, and they want us to apply the window slash orphan option. So where do we go? Remember, Home tab, Paragraph, a little arrow over there. And we want to say window slash orphan control. Let's just see if that's everything they want us to do. Um, they want us to apply this. Observe that nowhere in the document there's a single line of a long paragraph now appear at the top or bottom of a page. So let's tick that. Let's say OK. And then let's scroll through our document again. Everything is fine there. Ah, OK, so that, that one line has moved over to the next. Not ideal because your heading is on one page and your um, paragraph is on the next. It's done exactly the same, you can see. So remember what we said with window often, it's not going to leave one line of text on one page and the rest of the paragraph on the other. However, it has left the heading um, and you can see what it's done here as well. Okay, so we've done that. It's not ideal, but let's see what they want us to do. Now they want us to select all the paragraph headings and choose keep with next. Right. We want to choose our paragraph headings. Let's go up to the top. Um, remember, we can do this with our control button. So we'll highlight and use control. Let me just go to the top. Our heading. So there's the first one. Keep control down. Select the second one. Okay. Going through, going through. And our appendix. Okay. So we've done that. And what do they want us to do? They want us now to choose keep with text. So again, home, paragraph, paragraph options, keep with next. And we're going to click OK. All right, now let's go to the top of our document. Let's have a look. Oh, OK. 
So there's the first change that we see. Our heading has moved down to the paragraph. Our heading has moved down to the paragraph. Just here that there's a problem, but everything else here looks fine. Okay, so that's the next one. Uh, second last one, they say select the line introducing the bullet list on page three. So it would be this one over here. Uh, what do they want us to do with this? Together with the first three bulleted items and again, choose keep with next. So they want me to um, highlight this over here. Go up to my section, keep with next. And if I click OK, boom, you see what it's done? It's moved everything um, onto the next page and kept everything together. And this I select the last paragraph heading appendix and choose um, the page break before option. So I'm going to go with page break before and click OK. And you'll see what that does. This is what the page break does. Let me go back up here. Remember, appendix was over here. So it's cut all of that. It's basically ended the page there and moved everything to the top of the next page. So grade 12s, this is how we manipulate line and page breaks. Thank you.